Hello, I'm C.H. Dalton, the author of A Practical Guide to Racism. Today's lecture begins in Japan. The Japanese are skillful at making many things. Wristwatches, motor cars, creepy animated pornography. But perhaps their greatest contribution to our culture is video games. My personal favorite is Custer's Revenge. Body little cowboy. You can learn a lot from these Nipponese games, and two in particular. I'm speaking, of course, of Punch Out for the Nintendo Entertainment System and Street Fighter II for the Super Famicom. They provide an insightful look at the world's races, like Asians represented by the twin Japanese brothers Piston and E. Honda, and blacks like Balrog and Mike Tyson. In them, we learn that Indians can stretch their limbs out to incredible lengths and blow fire at their enemies. But remember, if you see the crystals on their turbans blinking, watch out! Russians, on the other hand, are drunken, speedo-clad braggarts like Soda Popinski, or, in some cases, monstrous, speedo-clad man-children like Zangief. Despite being marketed as children's entertainment, these racial characterizations are spot on again and again, even in some of the less prominent races. The Spaniards, for example, are portrayed as effete, beclawed homosexuals in colorful spandex. just as they are in real life. Pacific Islanders are obese provincial royalty, like King Hippo, and Brazilians, like Blanca, are terrifying green-skinned monsters. Video games are a compelling and informative picture of the world's races, and an invaluable tool for the burgeoning ethnographer. After all, it's never too early to start learning about stereotypes. All the homies, they know what I mean. Baby, let me show you how I lean. Like a cholo. Lay back, bounce in the car. When we do a dance, and we do it like what? Like a, like a cholo. Side to side, elbows up, up, side to side, elbows up. You may have seen them at the mall, you may have seen them at your grocery store. You may even already own some of your very own line of homies toys. These outright stereotypical depictions of the Latino culture are sold everywhere in children's vending machines. These toys resemble the gang culture and everything negative about Latino culture and are marketed towards young children. These popular toys are created by David Gonzalez, which helped to create the video game Homie Rollers, released on February 27, 2008. The following video clip is an actual trailer for this game. Rated E for everyone. Pull over, it's droopy, eh? What's going on? Just chilling out, eh? Hey, hey, watch out. Here comes a placa, man. What the? Let's go, eh? Damn! What's up with these fools? Hey, homies. Hey, what'd it be like, Droopy? We're heading over to Games R Us to pick up the new homies video game. It finally arrived. Damn! I seen the ad in Lowrider Magazine, but I didn't know it was out already. Yeah. Homie Rollers for Nintendo DS. You can customize cars and race them, oh. too, on a whole bunch of different tracks. Baby girl, what you know about video games? You're a chick, eh? Hey, I want to get a game too, homies. I hope you do, so this chick can beat you and put you in your place, Droopy. Whatever. Hey, Lurch, loan me some money, eh, so I can get a game. I'll pay you back, Rato. It ain't about money, Droopy. We already reserved copies, I said. You're gonna have to hunt around like everyone else. Blah, 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 you should have tried Best Guy this morning. They were supposed to get a shipment in today. Eight Paul and Flacco and them camped out last night with about a hundred other fools. 
Yep, them homies were up in line all night, wired up on Red Bull. We cruised by and saw them in line this morning. It looked like dawn of the dead out there. Well, let me hang out with you guys. I'll play on your games, eh? No way, dog. We fitting to have a homie rollers marathon tonight, and we ain't giving up our Nintendo's to no one. You need to find a way to get your own homie rollers video game if you want to kick it with us later. And good luck. As you will soon see here in the character selection part of the game, you can choose from eight characters, only one of which is female. The other characters include a stereotypical depiction of a black male holding a bucket of fried chicken, a bad generalization of an Indian in a burrito on wheels, a female prostitute, a gangbanging bandana wearing Latino male in a lowrider, a skeleton, a Batman villain lookalike, a man in a wheelchair, Let's just assume he got shot during a drive-by. And of course, you can't forget the Harley-clad biker dude. The following footage is an interview with one of the actual game developers of Homie Rollers. Uh, this is, of all the games we have here, this is the earliest. Uh, we're pretty happy with how it looks, but we know that it's going to be getting a lot better from where it is now. Uh, Homey Rollers is a, a fairly, you know, it's a Mario Kart style kart racer, but we've got a few important differences. You've got the same sort of eight car pack, kart racing style racing, but uh, we've got some Homey's touches in it that give it the unique flavor. 